Want to bet? Yeah. Yeah. You Where can it. I do it? You can do it at Sports Interaction. It's Canada Sportsbook. Yeah. Every hockey, football, and basketball game at your fingertips. And the World Cup is almost here. We're going to be talking about some of that throughout the month of November. So excited. You can bet pregame, live and play, or one of our many prop bets made for Canadians by Canadians. It's Sports Interaction, and it makes it easy to deposit, play, and cash out. Why are we raising the roof? Because you need to join now and see all that sports betting has to offer. Go to sportsinteraction.com slash sdpn. That's sportsinteraction.com slash sdpn. Ontario only, 19 plus. Please raise the roof and play responsibly. This is very strange. <laughs> Justin Hall and Alex Kerfoot, we got to talk about, though. Listen. Why were they traded? No, but neither of these guys looks comfortable this year. I agree. Can I just say... Um... Booing one of your own players is while your team is winning is a bit much, Leafs Nation. Man, the play uh, you're talking about Justin Hall. Yeah, and like, look, he fell down twice on the same shift. Like, what do you think you're helping? I don't know. <laughs> I think, listen, there's a time and a place. I generally don't have a problem with booing, but like, the reason you're booing is you're frustrated with the team and you're frustrated with the team because they're not winning games. They were winning that game. I think the boos <laughs> are maybe less about Justin himself and more about, hey, stop using this guy in these positions. It's more, I think it's more a shot at the Leafs. Well, who are they going to use? Someone else. Who? I don't know. Someone else. This Find someone. Thing, man. Like, right. It's their, your, your job. Nobody Wait. plays the, the positions that Justin Hall does. Yeah, you're going to have a right side of... Brody Mete crawl. Ooh. Right. You know, that's uh and kills penalties, you know. He's useful. He you, wish, you yes. wish he was more skilled. He's I think it's in his head. He doesn't have any confidence. He's useful except for the games where he very isn't. Very isn't. There doesn't really seem to be a middle ground mm -hmm. there with him. You never go, that was an all right game for But Justin but Hall. this has been like, this has been all season though. This has been every all game. Tenure. Well, the whole the whole time this year, honestly, we're more than ten percent through the season already. Justin Hall has not been good. I sang his praises. I sang them from the rooftop when he scored the winner against. I don't remember yep. game Ottawa? two. Game two, yeah. Game two Washington, of the season. Then. Game two of the season, right? It was him and Muzzin who had good games. Yeah, I like, why is he up there? <laughs> yeah, I had an LFR called Hall of Famer. Uh huh. <laughs> because, dude, he played like a Hall of Famer. And I talked about how he came to earn an NHL contract, and this is how he played. And ooh, kapoof. Mm -hmm. He is uh, Alex, not there, man. Alex Kerfoot's an interesting one. You keep saying jack of all trades. I'm not into it. I'm just not into it, man. There have been times where he's been useful. Yeah, listen, man. Like They're all some of the best hockey players in the world. They're all top thousand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> all players are going to have useful <laughs> moments, but mm -hmm. like, l listen, versatility is something that this Leafs lineup has needed. Oh, really? They're screwing with it again tonight, eh? What are they? What? Jesse's got the lineup up. Yeah, What's just, the lineup now? I was now? looking at the lineup that David Alter posted. This is from practice this morning. I'll go through the defense first because that's where we're talking. Uh, that's what we're talking about. Brody Hall, Riley Lilligren. Giordano, Sandy. Is uh, Lilligren's, is he eligible now? He's not off LTIR yet, but he will be. What day is 20, 24 days, 21 days? I don't know. I assume, know. Uh, well, it's Friday and they play tomorrow. So I think tomorrow morning he'll be off LTIR unless he is already. Okay, awesome. So yeah, Lilligren's back in there. Riley Lilligren, Giordano, Sandy. And then the forward group is Bunting, Matthews, Marner, Kerfoot, Tavares, Nylander, Engvall, Yonkroak, Simmons. Interesting. Aston Reese, Kampf, Malgin. Aston Reese, uh, Aston Reese, Kampf, Malgin is the third line. Yeah. They never yes. list it that way. Um, but it is. They play more minutes and they are out there in third line situations. Yeah. Engvall, <laughs> Yonkroak. Yeah, man. A um, <laughs> little snippet from the CJ show uh, that the Leafs are supposedly uh, putting Obey Kubel's name out there. Mm hmm. Uh, not in this lineup. Yeah, he's not in the lineup. Him and Mete are the extras. That's that's a Dubas special. Like, and I think it's part of the reason guys sign here. Um, listen, we like you. We want you to play for us. Um, and if it doesn't work out, we'll find a spot for you. Like Nick, Nick Ritchie. Like Nick Ritchie. 
and he probably resents that. But I doubt he resents the paycheck. Um, and he gets to play and get his cookies in Arizona and, and all he's been that playing stuff. great there. Yeah. Like the, the Leafs used to have hostages, man. <laughs> they used to have hostages. Like we, we were upstairs. We were talking about like Peter Holland and Josh Levo and Frank Justin Garato. Hall is somehow still here. I was waiting and for Frank the hashtag. Yeah. <laughs> free, free, yeah, Frank, free Frank Garato. <laughs> and, uh, Dubas is the opposite of that. Maybe too much. So. Cause like you can't, well, I think the way they've run their roster is like, you can't carry anyone. Who was the Sorry, defenseman you can't they sent out to Vancouver last year? After Travis the, Dermott. Travis Dermott. Like I thought that was unnecessary. I thought you could have held on to Dermott for a little bit longer. Could use him right now. If there was an injury, like why would you just send him off for, if, because they like Justin Hall better. Conditional seventh or whatever. No, they got a third. A third? They was it actually third. a third? I think so. Eh. Hold on to him for a little. It's fine. The useful hockey player. I, I, think, I think at that mm-hmm. point though. I think uh, the agent, from what I understand anyway, I could be wrong on this, the, 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 the agent, the player, and Toronto sat down and were kind of like, yeah. okay, this, is, this isn't going anywhere, so you know, maybe a change of scenery. But you also don't have to do it, because we've seen it with the guys we just listed, that you can be stubborn and not try yes. and have the good relationship with the agent, just do what's best for the yes. hockey team. You can, you run the risk of destroying a player's confidence yeah, with that. Totally. And, and I, it, it was clear there wasn't trust between him and Keith. To me, the one that got away is Barabanov, um, because... Well, he never played. He never played, but they gave him a brief audition on the Tavares line, remember? And I remember, like, he didn't put up points, but I was like, he looks good, though. Like, his raw talent is there, and we never really got to see it on the fourth line. And I, I think we can see on, in San Jose, he's mm-hmm. not a fourth line player. Um, he's a first line player in San Jose. Well, and like, is he a fir- first line player on the Leafs? No. I mean, maybe. Well, they, and they've well, benched bunting a few times. I or, mean, everybody's bringing it up now. Nobody knew it at the time, but Mason Marchment, man. See, that's the difference. Though, Nobody knew it. No one was saying at the time. Yeah. No one was saying at the time. We were doing stories about like how, oh, Barb Underhill taught him how to skate <laughs> <laughs> and stuff like that. The Panthers didn't know that was there. Stop it. Yeah. Or, or the, uh, my favorite one is Lee fans getting upset about Carter Verhage as though there wasn't like a six year gap between when he got traded to when he became Carter Verhage. I mean, the lightning let him go when he became Carter Verhage. Yeah. And it's not because of him, it's the cap constraints, I think. But like, Carter Verhage got traded before Matthews was a Leaf. Like, yeah, you gotta yeah. relax on that. That one, that one doesn't really count yeah, here, Yeah, no, but people will count that. <laughs> Are we gonna get mad about Dakota Joshua playing with the Canucks? There's a Leaf draft pick. Oh, yeah. Dominic Toninato on the, on the Jets. There's a Leaf draft I'm mad, pick. I'm mad about, uh, I am mad about uh, Seth Jarvis because that pick was the Marlowe pick. And the more I think about it, the more I think <sighs> when the Leafs had Matthews, Marner, Nylander on ELCs, they really fucked up when they signed Marlowe instead of going out and get getting somebody else. And as much as I liked Marlowe as a Leaf, his first season especially, really good, good mentorship or whatever, they goofed on that deal. Three years, cost them a first round pick, cost them the rest of that, that cap space that they had. They could have done way better with that. It did lack some foresight. I, I remember seeing a tweet at the time that was like, the, the Leafs guaranteed a playoff spot the moment they signed Marlowe. Yep. And in retrospect, they guaranteed that they were the early 2000 Leafs. <laughs> yeah. Well, which you might remember didn't win. Mm-hmm. They won rounds, but uh, they didn't win. We were, we were talking about the lineup. Can, yeah. Can we right. get back to that? Yeah, I think also, we sh- they were trying to sign Thornton and Marlowe at the same time. I think yeah, they only sure got were. I think we should get mad about Nick Robertson. Like, I think it's enough. I think it's time to, hey, stop scratching this kid. Either yep. send him down or have him playing. What the hell are you doing here, Keith? The, listen, there are in arguments. In the line rushes, he's scratched. I've seen good arguments for having him in the lineup. I've seen good arguments for keeping him out of the lineup. Him in the press box does not make sense. He's 21. Yeah. He's 20. Just turned 21. Stop it. They're going to fuck this kid up. If, the, if they're not careful. I'm serious. Like, mm-hmm. they, honestly... The Leaf fans are not going to like hearing this. They might want to explore a trade. <laughs> Trading away, Nick? Yeah. Well, because... It, is it, he or isn't he? <clears throat> is he or isn't he? Like, because, you know what? Okay, you drafted him as a guy with a ridiculously high ceiling and what they are very in the middle of creating, probably 
unintentionally, but they are creating a tweener. They're yeah. cre- they're creating a an average player. They don't need him up. This is a, this is a guy with special potential that they are potentially making into an ordinary player. One of the guys that they actually dra- drafted and developed properly, um, if you can believe it, uh, by just keeping him down there and keeping him down and keeping him down was Nazem Kadri. I remember mm-hmm. going to see a Marley's game with you 10, 10, 12 years ago, and he scored the winner. He's unbelievable mm-hmm. in that game. Now, was he a perfect player when they brought him up in the 13, 12, 13 season or whatever? No, absolutely not. Mm-hmm. But they kept him down. They kept him down. They kept him down. They're like, no, you're going to develop. You're going to develop. You're going to develop. And then you're going to come up. And and you know what? I want to see Nick Robertson play for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I do. I actually think I, I can't imagine a scenario where Dennis Malgan uh, is a more valuable player to this Leafs lineup than Nick Robertson already. I can't. There is in different one. positions. I don't, yeah. Unfortunately. I mean, Ma- God, Malgin, I don't think there's a space for him right now in the lineup. And it, it doesn't make sense to have him yeah. in the press bronze. Yeah, exactly that. And Adam, to add to your Nazem Kadri point, add William Nylander to that uh, yeah. list, list of guys who stayed down a little too long and Kasperi were perfect. He was a, a, Nylander was a fantastic Marley. I remember seeing him at and fucking... And a center. Point of game Marley. <laughs> point, point of game, game he, was, he was a great as a Marley, and I think that led to his development. Look where he is now. And like Nick Robertson, looking at when he's played this season, he's played six games. Oh. Last one was October 30th. Uh, that was the Anaheim game is when he played back on Sunday. So he missed a Wednesday's game. And then he's going to be scratched for Saturday. He played 14, 15, 15, 12 minutes the first four games. And then the last two games he was in over the weekend the Kings and Ducks. He's played six minutes and then eight minutes. Those are scratches. You're, you're wasting <laughs> Those this are guy. scratches. What the hell are you doing? Like, yeah. No, they're they're creating an ordinary player. This they is need a to stop. You know, 21-year-old kid who needs to be playing hockey games. Send him down. And if there's cap implications and that's the reason he's been up, then again, your, your ridiculous financial situation or financial when it comes to the cap is actively hurting your development of players. You did that to yourself. If that's the reason. I'm going to throw it out there that Pontus Holmberg shouldn't be sitting either. Like, Mm. he played fine against Philly, and now he's not in the lineup? Okay. Who does that help? 